Candy with eyes to Jesus.blogspot.com and today I thought I would just give you a quick review of what I think of the classic size Franklin Covey Anna planner binder in the color Carmine Red. And red is my favorite color and this is my favorite shade of red. So I have been in this now uh, for a few days so I feel like I can go ahead and give a review of what I think of it so far. And I would say so far this is uh, my most favorite classic size or half letter size planner I have ever been in. Uh, the next thing that would come close would be the uh, Daytimer Malibus and uh, those were discontinued sadly a few years ago by Daytimer. But uh, this is even better than the Daytimer Malibus. It's got uh, the exact same pocket configuration as the Franklin Covey Vintage Aurora does. <clears throat> And uh, but this isn't as uh, stiff as some of the other Franklin Covey planners are. Uh, the vintage Aurora isn't too very stiff, but it, this one seems to be even more lightly structured than that. So in showing you, uh, here is uh, my cognac vintage Aurora in the classic size, and it's a little bit flexible. It's got some give to it, but not quite as much give as an Anna. And the pocket configuration is the same between the um, Vintage Aurora and the Anna. Uh, the only difference pocket-wise is the Vintage Aurora just has a slip pocket on the back while the Anna has a hidden zipper on the back and I really like the zipper better. Now another thing though with the uh, Vintage Auroras is it was just that slip tab closure. I prefer a snapping closure. Uh, also, the Vintage Auroras does have a little bit of a wide-ish footprint, so if you like uh, that type of pocket configuration, but you don't really like that wide of a footprint, well then there was the Bella, uh, and I haven't seen the Bella back out in a long time, I don't know if it's ever coming back, and the Bella, there is no pocket on the back, and it is, again, a slip tab closure with a magnet inside, which the Aurora has as well. Uh, and then the pocket configuration is the same, except you only have one slip pocket in the back. But other than that, it's the same pocket configuration as the Vintage Aurora and as the Anna. Uh, you can see here in the Bella, though, uh, it's just white here on the sides. It's just white, and that can stain. Mine actually already has a little bit of staining on it, just from age and use. So when I do use the Bella, I usually stick in some scrapbook paper to cover the white up, and that also makes it look prettier. And the uh, classic size Bella originally came with uh, inch and a half uh, oval rings. That's a little bit big for this footprint. If you do use the inch and a half oval rings, uh, your tabs are going to stick out and you're going to have trouble with the pen loops. You have to get creative. Uh, so I have round inch and a quarter rings in here. An inch, round inch and a quarter rings is perfect in the classic size Bella. Now, another thing it can be comparable to is the vintage collages by Franklin Covey. I love this vintage collages. It is just like the vintage Aurora, except instead of a slip tab closure, it's a faux buckle and snap. I love that. Uh, it also has the pocket on the back, but this stretches and pulls out, which the vintage Auroras don't have the stretch and pull out. If it did, that'd make the slip tab a bit more nicer. And again, exact same pocket configuration as the Anna and as the vintage collages. Uh, I mean, as the vintage Aurora, but this, the vintage collages, is very structured and it's got a somewhat wide footprint. Okay, so if you like very structured and you like the wider footprints, then you might want to look around online on eBay or whatnot for vintage collages. Uh, they're pretty nice. Uh, there's inch and a half rings in here. I think it came to me with inch and a half rings. I don't know if these originated with inch and a half or not, but inch and a half fits in here perfectly. Now, another big hit that was going on for a long time in Franklin Covey World was the Giadas. So I have a pink Giada here. And a Giada has just got your nice classic planner look. You know, no bells or whistles, you know, than the color. It's a snap closure. And it has almost the exact same pockets as the Anna and Vintage Aurora, except the Vintage Aurora and Anna 
I have one more layered pocket in the back divided into two. This one has two pockets in the back and the Bella has one. And then the front pockets are the same. And all of these have two elasticized pen loops. So the Giada is pretty nice. This, um, I want to say it came to me with one inch rings and I upgraded it to an inch and a quarter, but I'm not sure on that. Uh, but the Giada is very nice, but it is quite structured. And I am not in love with the leather of the Giada. And at least with mine, it just doesn't seem like it holds its uh, color very well. I kind of want to repaint my Giada, to be honest. So I like what I like about the Giada, though, was it has the about the same pockets as the Vintage Aurora, which is fabulous on the pockets. And I like that it has a snap closure. No pocket on the back, though. But it's really structured. See, and then what I liked about the Vintage Aurora was that it wasn't as structured. It had the pocket in the back, but it was a bit wide of a footprint, and that slip tab closure, even though there was a magnet to help it, it would still come undone quite easily. So what I like about the Anna is it's a bit less structured, even than the Vintage Aurora, and I love it. It is moldable, and it's a nice size footprint. It's not slightly too narrow like the Bella, but it's not slightly too wide like the Vintage Collages. And this one in the classic size, so this takes half letter size paper, uh, it comes with inch and a quarter rings, and I swapped them out for inch and a half rings and it fits fabulously and it makes the footprint slightly more narrow which makes the footprint perfect. This is a nice squishy planner. It smells heavenly dreamy. This smelled great right out of the box. I didn't have to air it out at all. This is a brilliant color red, not that boring blah red that we seem to get on so many red planners. And uh, the zipper pocket in the back is great because I have uh, some documents and receipts back here and now I can zip them in so that they're not falling out because my planner goes with me everywhere and it can be churned and twisted in all sorts of different directions and rattled around in the car. I don't need things falling out of my planner. And it's just gorgeous. So you, here you can see the front pockets. It's the exact same pocket configuration as the uh, Vintage Aurora and the Giada. And then in the back, exact same pocket configuration as the Vintage Aurora and the Vintage Collages. And it is just working out fabulous for me. I have everything in here. I don't have to write too tiny because I have the classic size. And uh, I can honestly say this is currently my very, very, very favorite planner, especially in the uh, classic desk or half letter size. So if you have been looking for a new planner binder for 2021, I would suggest you go ahead and get the Anna. Uh, well, I know what Franklin Coveywell supplies last. They have these currently in two colors. They have it in this beautiful carmine red, or they have it in sailor blue. And the Anna has showed up and disappeared briefly throughout the years in different colors. But uh, I was never really interested until I saw the carmine red. And then I took notice and noticed, oh, it's the exact same pocket layout as a vintage Aurora inside. But in my opinion, it's a prettier on the outside. The pocket on the back zips closed instead of it just being a slip pocket. And this red is fabulous. So, yeah, I would have to currently give the Anna a 10 out of a 10 rating. It is absolutely my favorite. It encompasses everything that's important to me in a planner. Have a blessed day.